Well, today I thought we would first look at a little video concerning my helper, uh, Liam. And it's, uh, it's a special event for him. Now, let's take a look. We were riding around and Liam said, we got to go to Target. We got to go to Target. We got to go to Target. And I'm like, what? He goes, we got to go to Target. It's my month. We got to go to Target. It's my month. So I was just like, okay, fine. We'll go to Target. So we're at Target and he wants to go inside and show me something. I don't know what it is. Oh, he's right. There's his section right there. There's Liam's section. There it is. That's why we came over here. Right? Right, Liam? There you go. Huh? I have a girlfriend, so, yeah. You call him a girlfriend, but that's okay. Remember, it's LPQMLT month. That was a total waste. He didn't want to buy anything. They said if they didn't have the five-foot flag that he could put in his front yard to match the other one in his front yard, that he didn't want to do it. So now we're leaving Target without any gay pride stuff. <laughs> a little joke at his expense. I'm sorry, Liam. Uh, he is actually really a good helper and a pretty sharp kid, to tell you the truth. Let's get going on the Toyota. I'm up to the point now of putting the injectors in and seeing if we can get some fuel to this thing and get the uh, intake all put back on. Uh, and let's see the uh, issues that I have with that. Randy's here! Yeah, I am. What are you doing, eating bacon? French fries. Oh, you're eating french fries. Mm -hmm. I cooked those for Harper. Cheers. Well, I'm Cheers. I'm sure you enjoyed them. Oh, well, that's good. <coughs> Do you know how hot it is? What are you getting? Look how old he's getting. He's coughing and shit. Mm-hmm. Huh? What's new with you? Oh, I did a show in uh, Twin Creeks Marina last night. Oh. With Thompson Square, Jared Neiman, and Anita Cochran. That, was it fun? Yeah. Was it hot and humid? Sold out. Was it hot it, and humid? It, no, it, it was humid, but it, it cooled off a little bit before the show. But yeah, Well, good. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you get paid? Yes. Gas Monkey got paid. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Let's go look at the Toyota. All righty. Well, I'm continuing to work on the Toyota, but it is just brutally hot out here, so I thought I would put up a redneck shelter to keep me from just burning up and be able to work on this thing. Um, we've been hitting 100 degrees, 90 degrees, which isn't typical for this time of year, uh, but i got to get this thing done. Yeah, I got it up, and it's redneck, but it actually does help get the sun off of me uh, so I can finish this stinking motor. <laughs> Only the finest materials were used in construction of this great uh, tent thing, whatever it is. Uh, slave labor China. Awesome. This is what the kit looks like from Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but this just makes it a little bit easier. It comes with alligator clips and the wiring and a little connector there. So let's see how this thing will work. Now the kit comes with some adapters that you're supposed to be able to use on like a spray bottle or something. But I've never liked using that. I've got a piece of fuel line with a air compressor nipple on it. Got some seafoam fluid. And we got a fuel injector. Now, fuel injector pretty much just hooks up here and you can hear it clicking. So it's operating. Let me get this hooked up. I'm going to fill this line up. I'm going to fill this line up with carb cleaner. Take the air line and put about five pounds of pressure on it and it should push the seafoam through it, no problem. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill this line up with seafoam. And it should squirt out, hopefully. Oh yeah, like milking a cow. <laughs> Looks pretty clean. I'm going to go ahead and let the seafoam sit in it for a little bit, but it should be about cleaned out. Um, after, after I let it sit in there for a little bit, I'll go ahead and hit it a couple more times. Make sure that it's good and clean. Um, that looks good. Okay, I bought a rebuild kit for the fuel injectors and it comes with all the washers, a new screen for the top and new Kindle caps for the ends of it. And I'm going to continue on cleaning these up. Uh, basically, I've removed, if you look down inside there, I've removed the old filter screen and it looks something like that. That's what the screen looks like. 
So I'll go ahead and put the new screens in. I'll put all the new washers on, new pendle caps on the ends of it, and as long as they spray well into the bucket, then they're ready to be reinstalled. Um, they say it's a rebuild kit, but truthfully, basically you're just cleaning them up and putting new uh, washers on it, new gaskets, new washers on it, and a new cap on the end with the new filter. So um, they should be in really good shape, though, once we're done. Oh, yeah. That one looks super good. All cleaned up and ready to install. This is what it looks like. It's got a new filter on it, new o-ring gasket here, new gasket there, uh, new pendle cap here, and then the new o-ring here. So this thing is ready to go on. And it looks beautiful! So this one, I can hear just a slight click, and it dribbles just a little bit, but it's not doesn't give me a pattern, so it's defective. Great! Awesome! So excited! All right, so this is awesome. I'm either going to turn it into a three-cylinder and use the three good injectors and cover up the one cylinder, or I'm going to have to figure out if I'm going to get one injector or four new ones or how easy are they to find, but... Let me tell you, this is really, I'm not that happy. As far as the Toyota goes, I was really kind of pissed about um, the injector system and what's going on with that. Not being able to finish putting it back together. Um, one of my good friends, Marty, stopped by and we were talking and I was telling him what was going on with it. And he said, yeah, I was talking to my brother Byron and uh, he goes, we just said, there's always something. And you know what? There's more truth to that than you know. Anytime you're doing a car project, there's always something you're going to have to freaking deal with. You know, like putting the head back together on this. So I was just like, you know what? You're right. So uh, words of wisdom from my friend. Uh, but it really took a couple days off after that because I was just like, man, I'm tired of fooling with this thing. I'm back on it. We're going to see if we can get this thing to run. It's really pretty close. Next thing is test the new injectors that I ordered that had to wait to come in, and we'll see if this thing will actually run. Uh, other things coming up, the manufacturer of the paint booth love my video so much, they're sending me a new one, a new design, uh, for me to test and put a video up. So I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, send it over here. I'll, I'll film the stupid thing. And once I get this thing running, I can back it up and use a paint booth to paint it. <laughs> So, I appreciate you being a subscriber. Keep watching. We've got more cool stuff coming up. David from the Redneck Garage with a cold. Keep turning wrenches.